happy Palm Sunday, dear listeners. Today, Palm Sunday, also known as Passion Sunday, is a significant day in the Christian calendar. It falls on the sixth Sunday of Lent and serves as the final Sunday before Easter. Palm Sunday commemorates Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem holds profound significance in Christian theology. The event fulfilled the ancient prophecy from the book of Zechariah 9 verse 9, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a coat, the fowl of a donkey. Amen. Jesus intentionally chose to enter Jerusalem in this manner to emphasize his identity as the long-awaited Messiah and King. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, a humble and peaceful mode of transportation. This act symbolized his gentleness, servanthood, and non-violent approach. The people's response, waving palm branches and shouting Hosanna, reflected their recognition of him as the promised king. Political and spiritual implications. The Pharisees were threatened by Jesus' popularity and authority. They feared a Roman backlash due to talk of another king. Jesus' entry challenged both religious and political establishments. His kingship extended beyond Israel. It signified universal rule, bringing peace to all nations. Foreshadowing the cross and resurrection, the triumphal entry marked the beginning of Holy Week. The enthusiastic crowds anticipated a political revolution, but Jesus had a different mission. His path led to the cross, where he would offer redemption through his death and resurrection. Eternal significance. The entry with waving palms was a preview of the eternal palm Sunday to come. All worship in this age serves as a rehearsal for the age to come where every nation will praise the Lamb. My listener, in essence, Jesus' entry into Jerusalem was a pivotal moment, a declaration of his kingship, a fulfillment of prophecy, and a prelude to the ultimate victory over sin and death. Amen.